Hello and welcome to Prem Predictor, the show where we're going to try and predict the final Premier League table of the season, places 1 through 20. I've been trying to do this on notepads and scraps of paper for the best part of 20 years and I haven't got it right one time. So I thought I'd use the wisdom of crowds, I'm going to get my mates together. No, I'm not, because they're Liverpool fans. They think we're all going to win the league and I want to do it right. So I want to use a group of football fans who are a little less deluded, a little more pragmatic and we can really separate the head from the heart. So let's get stuck in to places 20 to 16. Paul Machen, Robbie Long, Jack Reeves, Dean Green, Peter McPartland, Junis, Jonathan Wilson, Nicky Hawkins, Slav. If I own 50 million pounds, 50 million, 50 million, 50, 50 million, 50 million, 50 million, 50 million pounds, I'd retire. One big party. I'll give it to charity, sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, I'll give it to charity. I think some of them are going to finish bottom of the table. Where do you think they're going to finish? Well, it's going to be a struggle, I mean, I've, yeah, I've got to be honest about that. But I think the, the thing about Saturday, you got to, got to bear in mind is we won the last hour of the game. You know, we, we, we only lost the first first half hour, and an hour is longer than half an hour. Yeah. But there's unfortunately. Did you get any points for that? Apparently not, which is, I don't know. I mean, the Premier League should take a serious look at that because I, I don't see how that's fair. But the good thing is we, we've climbed out of the relegation zone since Saturday, <laughs> uh, thanks to Arsenal, thanks to West Brom. Yeah, of course. So yeah, we're on the up and up. And, 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 and you know, more seriously, I, I actually think an embarrassing defeat on the opening day in some, in some respects can be a positive. Yeah, I, I'd almost rather that than losing the scabby 1-0 because at least everybody knows where we are now. It's not nice going down, obviously. Um, they've got a nice, loyal fan base, Sunderland, so I will feel you know, quite sad to see them go, but they're not sort of progressing. So just drop out and give someone else a chance. You've brought in two new centre-backs. Um, how, do, how do they solidify that defence? I'm not sure they do. I mean, I think up to a point, it was just getting bodies in there, because both O'Shea and Wes Brown uh, their, their bodies let them down, and you know, the two of them, when they're when they're fully fit, actually work quite well together. They're never going to be quick. I mean, Wes Brown obviously was quick, but mm. he's not any, not quick anymore. So Quartes is slow. Kabul is slow. Don't forget, Quartes has got the soul of a poet. So <laughs> yeah. everyone needs needs cheering up with some existential poems or something. Then perhaps he's the one. Lee Campbell's a big fan of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where where do you actually think some of them are going to finish then? Well, I mean, I hope I hope fourth bottom. I take fourth bottom now. Um, of course you would. But. but it's, you know, it's, it's going to be an almighty struggle. The league this season, it's very obviously stratified. There's a top four, there's a fifth and sixth, there's then, uh, I guess, probably eight teams in the next batch and then six who are looking to avoid relegation. I think within those, within those bands, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to be definitive about who's going to finish where. What about Norwich? Well, I mean, Alex Neal, I think, is a fascinating figure. He's obviously, you know, the two or three years he's been in management, he, he couldn't really have done much more. I worry about Norwich's strike force. We're going to stay up this season. I'm, I'm positive of that. I wouldn't have argued it if not, and we will prove everyone wrong. Uh, hang on, are we just because the Sunderland is guaranteed in 20th now, are we? Well, no, you were supposed to come up with an argument for them to come out the oh, bottom I'm three, right, and you've I'm, not done that. You basically told me that everybody was slow. Yeah. Your, your defence hasn't been fixed. Yeah. And you mean the foes quicker than the rest of your players? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. so they're going to stay in 20th. We should do better than, than, than we do, given that we have the seven highest crowds in, in the country. We've got a big stadium, got a great academy, despite all that's good in, in the city, there still seems to be this mood of depression that settles on the football club. Jack, I'm really sorry, mate. Look, you're in 19th position. Yeah. It's not going to happen, is it? No. Do you think you can get high any higher? Of course we can. We're staying up, definitely. Where Under you Alex Neil, 65% win ratio so far. In the Premier League? Well, let's not talk about that. 65%. <laughs> um, you know, the thing was on, on Saturday is we played Palace and a couple of years ago I think that would have been, we would have been looking to win it but I think a lesson we learned is how strong the Premier League is now. You know, Palace are, you know, fighting for the top ten, they've got the likes of the Kabai. the in the Premier League? And the time before. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not forget like, a couple of seasons ago we finished 11th under Chris Hewton. Yeah. Chris Hewton. Yeah. So that sort of highlights. Uh, do you remember you got robbed in that game as well? Mm. Got yeah, yeah, it's true. Lost. That, that's your we should have lost that game. We only lost 3-1, it should have been 2-2 really. Jerome, disallowed overhead kick, what's all that about? Um, You're not coming off as bitter at all, by the way. <laughs> no, but I genuinely think we're going to stay up. Sunderland, I'm pretty sure we're going down. Watford don't seem to have any stability. They get through managers for fun. And Bournemouth, I don't think, have the, the sort of infrastructure. Okay, well, listen, you were obviously in the Championship last season with mm. Watford. Where do you think they're going to finish? I think Watford are going in 20th, actually. I'm 20th? Move, yeah, I'm going to move Sunderland up. Generous to Sunderland, that. Wow. Yeah, I'm moving them up. OK. We're staying up. So, we're going up without brilliant. <laughs> I wasn't too pleased with the, the bottom half of the, the, the table because to be having Bournemouth so high in such a tough league as the Premier League, their first experience of it, tiny little ground, 
I just can't see it. I would have had Bournemouth going down. I want to win 50 mil. So we need to change it. The it's reason I'm putting Watford in 20th is because of Gomez in goal. He's, he's dreadful. We chipped him like three times last season. We scored six goals in two games against them. I, I can't see them staying up. I think Watford will be a surprise package, but I think they'll be a surprise to people just, just by staying up. They seem to be a club that has a lot of changes, whether it be the manager or the players. I think they'll stay up quite quite comfortably. Bournemouth, I think, are going down as well. They're sort of the hipster that team that everyone likes, aren't they? But I just don't think they've got it, um, to be honest. The infrastructure isn't huge. I think they're the Blackpool of sort of yesteryear. And I think we're stronger than all three of them teams. And we've still got signings to come in as well. This isn't our, our full squad, let's not forget. Yeah, exactly. But um, Steve, we've got you from Aston Villa. Probably a little bit disappointed to be in the conversation. You had Aston Villa as finishing 12th, mm -hmm. and then you dropped them a place to 13th, if I remember. Yeah. So I'm going to go with 16th for Aston Villa for now. But they could implode on the Tim Sherwood. So are you a fan of Tim Sherwood? I wasn't at first. Um, I thought he got given the job. Well, I don't know why he got given the job, really. <laughs> but, um, you know, he did what he needed to do. He kept the team in the, in the division and sort of brought the dressing room back together. So I think he's earned his chance now. So you've sold Ben Teke, and you've obviously sold Delft to Man City as well. Tom Cleverley to Everton. I mean, what, what an absolute player there. But look, Aston Villa, you've, you've made some signings. Are you happy with them? Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy with the business we've done. Um, Richards was a, a massive coup for us, I think. Um, but as I said earlier, I'd prefer to see him at right back than at centre back. But against Bournemouth at the weekend, he did a really good job. So I'm more willing to see what he can do there. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle for him, but I'm going to I'm going to take Watford out of there. I'm going to take Sunderland back into the bottom. And this is because whoa, that's whoa, where whoa, I put him. Can I make a statistical point about Watford? Okay. Last season, in their 14 game against the other side of the top eight of the championship, they only won three. They were fantastic at beating teams in the middle and bottom of the table. Couldn't have been even the top of the championship. I know they've brought in half a new squad, but isn't, still. Isn't that, isn't that more important when it comes to surviving relegation, those six pointers around the bottom? Yeah, but my point is they couldn't do it against even good sides in the Championship. I know you, you think the vast majority of sides in the Premier League are at least about. Say none of the sides that they could beat are in this league anymore. <laughs> 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 okay, right. Watford, where did you have them? Well, 20th, it's them or Sunderland. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll give you that. Thanks. We're, we're going to. I mean, you're still going down. <laughs> but you know what? You haven't got the Warden's for you, okay? And Bournemouth, make it out for me. I've got oh. knowledge in there. No. Jack, any final words? Awful. Oh, I put my point across, I thought I'd done it quite well. You know, we're doing well this season and we've still been putting that relegation zone. So I'm looking forward to proving everyone wrong. So that's it. We've, we're wrapping it up now. I'm going to have to make a judgment call. I'm going to take Aston Villa down into 17th and to fill the final place between 20 and 16. Bournemouth take that spot. Right, I'm here with Jack from Talk Norwich City. We're still doing the Prem predictor. He wants to win 50 million quid. If I won 50 million, I'd buy Norwich City and take us on a European tour. You've got 60 seconds, 20 teams, 20 positions. I'm going to give you the much debated Leicester City first. Leicester going in at 10th. Wow. <laughs> Sunderland are down, I'm afraid. Southampton. Southampton, 11. Really? Yeah. Swansea, Swansea 8th. United? United. Fourth, yes. Yeah, fifth. Will you yes. Newcastle. Oh, this is tough, isn't it? Spurs. Tottenham. Sixth. West Ham. West Brom. West Brom. Norwich. Norwich. Sixteenth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Believe it. <laughs> West Ham. Ninth. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Stoke and Allen. Fourteen. Oh, struggling. City. <laughs> Third. Chelsea. Second. Ooh, Everton top. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Bournemouth. Bournemouth, they're down. Arsenal. Arsenal to win the league. Ooh, Ooh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Liverpool, four. Yeah! <laughs> Watford, they're down. Aston Villa. Oh, that's not too bad. 17th. Listen, everybody wants to know. Yeah. Liverpool or Man United, why? Yeah. I think they've made some cracking signings. Ben Teke, I think he'll do well for me, you know. I don't think Man United have got it, you know. They've made some decent signings, but I can't see them making too much improvement, to be honest. OK, so, what about Norwich, mate? You've, you've got them to stay up. I've got to have faith in my own team, haven't I? Um, not sure if that's quite right, but no, we'll, we'll stick with that. Um, I think we made some, some decent signings, and Alex Neil, we trust. The only other one, really, Evan, 15th. It's so tough to separate even, like, the top six from the, sort of bo the bottom section. It's never been like that. I think this is the only season where every team has a real chance of finishing any position. Don't forget to predict your Premier League table by downloading the app from the App Store. It's dead easy. 
for your chance to win £50 million for just £2 entry. Competition closes at 3pm on the 22nd of August 2015. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ball Suit channel to catch the next episode of Will Hill 50 Mil. Nicky Hawkins. Slam. If I won £50 million. Pounds. 50 million? 50 million. 50, 50 million at the time. 50 million. 50 million. Inject a little bit into Everton Football Club, not, not too much.